Hello there, TK422 here, the optimistic stormtrooper. Uh, and today I'm gonna show you how to create a lightsaber effect in Adobe Photoshop. Now before you click away saying that looks terrible, this is not the effect that we are creating. This is from the last video, how to create it in Lightroom. I don't like this effect as much, um, but you can go ahead and you can watch that video to if, you, if you're interested to see how I did this in Lightroom. But now we're gonna show you how to do this the right way in Photoshop. So go to click on the photo, right click on it, hit edit in Adobe Photoshop, and that's going to open up Photoshop. So here we go, we have it here in Photoshop, and simply what we're going to do, we're going to zoom in here, and we're going to trace, we're going to take this lasso tool right here, and we are going to trace the blade. Just like that. Okay, and I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to hit B for brush tool, or just go over here and click your brush tool. Um, I need to reset my color, so I'm just going to click that and hit X to uh, reverse it. See the little arrow here? You hit X, that'll reverse it. Okay, and I'm just going to draw in the blade. Then I'm going to hit Control Shift or Command if you're on a Mac. Control Shift I or Command Shift I, and that's what that's telling me to do is go up Select and click, and that's inverse. So you'll notice the lasso. It's just around the blade. We want it to be around everything else. So Shift Control I, you can see it's now around everything else. I'm gonna hit G, which is the paint bucket tool or gradient. So if you have gradient, just go over here, hold down and click the paint bucket. Now I'm gonna hit X again to switch those colors and I'm gonna fill it in black. Then I'm gonna hit Control D, that just means deselect. And so now everything is just black and white. So I'm gonna go here to make sure you're clicked on the layer. I'm gonna go up here and go down to screen. Um, sometimes I've used color dodge or linear dodge, but uh, screen should be good enough for this. So now what that has done is that has essentially removed any of the dark elements and left just the light elements. Now you might be thinking, TK422, why don't we just add an outer glow to our effect? And I will show you why. That is, uh, that is an easy way to achieve this effect, you know, but I don't think it is the best way. In fact, as much as I love the duels in the prequels, I find that the effect of the lightsaber glow does suffer quite a bit. Uh, the prequels actually, I think, have the worst visual effects when it comes to the lightsabers. And, well, and I should say, it's not consistent. There are times when the lightsabers look absolutely gorgeous, and other times it looks like they just went into Photoshop and added the uh, outer glow effect here. So, essentially, you know, just saying like, whew. and actually the prequels tend to go with a, with a darker blue. So, that's an easy way to do it, but I don't think it looks good. I don't even think it looks as good as our Lightroom uh, version. So let's let's show you uh, this this method. So remember the black background, the white, and the screen blending mode. Okay. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually we're gonna want to duplicate it, and by hitting Control J, and we're gonna duplicate it three times. So we have four layers. Now the bottom layer, we're gonna want to just keep the way it is. Our second layer, we're gonna go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And what we want to do here is essentially just, that's, that's too much there. We just want to blur it just, just enough right here uh, so that the edges have a little bit of a soft glow to it. Now, we're going to take go up to this next layer and we're going to do the same thing. Only this time, uh, this one we're going to spread out until it looks more like a lightsaber somewhere around there. And then this third glow is just for extra show. And we're gonna have this one spread out quite a bit. There we go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all of these in a folder or in a group. We can name this lightsaber. And, and I'm gonna make a copy of this. You know, just in case I'm gonna disable that one. I'm gonna merge this group. So now it's just one layer, and again, we're going to have to go back and hit screen. 
and we're gonna go up to image adjustments color balance now this is this is the fun part so this is where we can start uh, adjusting the colors I like to add a little bit of green in there sometimes just to touch the blue add some shadows that's might be a little too much so and then the highlights we're gonna add more cyan of course some blue and a little bit of green and then you can play around with preserve luminosity see if you prefer the way it looks like that or like that um, I think they both look cool I like the contrast between the dark and then the, the bright cyan look um, although I think for the sake of this I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that color okay and honestly what I probably should have done is I probably should have made that a smart layer so then if we need to go back and make adjustments we can and basically how we do that is just again control J or command J and merge the group screen right click and convert to smart object now we go in here hit color balance I can have a little bit of fun with the the colors see with this in this case I think I'm gonna go with the preserve luminosity so so I make that and decide oh stormtroopers aren't the bad guys <laughs> so we just go over here to our smart filter hit color balance and now we can make those adjustments now one thing to keep in mind there's a reason why we added the black and I'm gonna show you if we had just done the white and uh, made three copies and we just made those copies and then we merge them control E to merge and then we go up to color balance here's the problem we don't have any colors to change meaning this is just white and we can't change white to a color we can't even change black to a color but as soon as we add the black now we have white black and then different shades of the color gray in between and gray we can adjust so that's why this the we can't change the color of just a white so that's why we needed to have the black background so there you have it and that that is how you create a lightsaber effect inside of Adobe Photoshop.